First stop on this hardcore home gym tour is Pat McNamara's driveway gym here in North Carolina. He is a retired U.S. Army Special Forces, 22 years, 12 years in the Delta Force. They're basically the biggest badass in this video. <laughs> you wouldn't want to fuck with them, but look at his gym. Like, this is some hardcore shit, man. Like, this is exciting, and he leaves all this stuff outside all year round. I love the concept of having a gym at home. Yeah. You know what I mean? Especially after uh, the lockdowns and uh, Corona, all that. I stopped going to a gym and I started working exclus working out exclusively outside. I had some gear and then I got more over time. I think we should start with what you do the night before. You oh, right out. on. Good, good, good. The whiteboard? Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm a slave to whiteboard. So I've had some health issues yeah. in the past couple years and I've lost uh, enthusiasm, motivation. Uh, so I am relying now completely on discipline. Mm -hmm. when it comes to working out. And I'm one year away from 60 years old, so I have to hit it every day. Big thing for me is whiteboard planning. The night before, I'll jot something down on my whiteboard Yeah. Uh, that I'm going to try to attack during the workout. Whether it's a power day, strength day, speed and quickness, or hypertrophy day, or skills day, I'm gonna jot it down on my whiteboard so it's the first thing I see in the morning when I uh, wake up. This is what I need to add to my power day, this yeah. thing. Just one exercise. One exercise, yeah. and that'll get the gears in motion. Kind of a perpetual motion event from then on out. Yeah. But I need that one good idea, you know, that one good punch to the face. Yeah. Mm. I, don't, I don't do routine. I think routine is the playground of a dull mind. I want to mix it up. I want to trick the body. I want to recognize voids. The other thing that I, I'm adamant about is I don't live in a sagittalistic environment. Yeah. You know, when it comes <laughs> to planes of motion, most dudes work out sagittalistic. You know, they're all sagittal. Uh, sagittal, frontal, and transverse. A lot of what I do is transverse plane of motion. twisting. Yeah, because Turning. in the transverse plane lives, life-saving and ass-kicking. Yeah. Those are real-world movements, you know, that transverse plane of motion stuff. Once I have that, then I can attack it. After a substantial warm-up, because <laughs> My, my bones and everything creak a little bit now. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, I've got to get that good warm up in. Trust my uh, body to tell me whether I'm doing too much or not enough. Right. And, you know, guys like you, you know what that feels like. You, you can listen to your body and know whether it's uh, not enough or too much. Mm -hmm. So your equipment selection out here mm -hmm. uh, is really open-ended where there's so many things that you can do with any one particular piece of equipment that right. you have. So it's like, you're looking around, this is what it is. And it's kind of like, you can do a hundred different things with like each one of these things. Correct. So let's go see what some of your extra, uh, your equipment selection yep. is. So we yep. got this bench thing here. Yeah, I love this. This uh, core strength one, yeah. um, just a million and one uses. You know, you could actually use it as stairs for speed and quickness. Yeah. Uh, I might tether myself with one of my bands yeah. to the golf cart and sprint up, down, up, down, incline push-ups, those yeah. kind of things. And then it's got a bazillion attachment points. You know, because I'm uh, I'm big into the bands. I yeah. love using the bands. And you sell them? Yeah, 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 yeah. I have the Get You Some bands. Yeah, link in the description. Yep, yep. And uh, with the uh, with the Get You Some bands, I could I could load this a hundred, two hundred different ways. You know, <laughs> yeah. And never get bored. If it stands the test of time, the weather, and it keeps me interested. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have it out here. I'm going to keep it out here. This has stood the test of time so far. It doesn't go inside. It gets yeah. rained on. And and nothing goes inside nope, here, nope, I nope. think. I mean, I wheel in the ski erg and the eccentric at night. Yeah. Or if it's going to rain, I wheel those in. Sure. You know. But then all this other stuff. Like, yeah, it just, just stays out here. Just leave it, it stays out. Here. out. Yep. And uh, I don't worry about it. And I guess that's a true test, a good test of a piece of equipment. Yeah. Can it stand the test of time and weather? Right. Tell me why you work outside. It's to me, it's therapeutic. Yeah. It's all about therapy, you know, good um, for mental health more than anything. I'm not an inside person. Yeah. I mean, I live outside. I do my office work outside. If it's raining, I pull a chair and a desk right here in my garage. Yeah. And open the garage and do my work there. I'll bring in a little propane fireplace to keep me warm if it's 38 and raining out. Yeah and do it there. I, I just can't be inside. Yeah, cooped you know? up. Yep. I think it also, like, training out here just makes you harder to kill. Right, exactly, <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, because I'm out here if it's 38 and raining, mm -hmm. or if it's 98 degrees with 95% humidity. So if you guys are watching and you want to have an outdoor addition to your home gym, or you don't have anywhere to put things inside, Let's see what some of the stuff he has out yep. here that has stood the test of <laughs> yeah. the weathering and the rain and the, you yeah. got these. Uh, I love the CMBs. CMBs? Yeah, the Sorenix CMBs. I love these because not only can you just use them as weights, right? Yeah. You could use them as free weights. These are more of a throwing device. You know, I like to throw them. Yeah. I have, I live on a decommissioned golf course, so I can get out there and just throw them because that release, that power transfer when you're throwing something, it's really, it's healthy and it's different. When we go to a gym, we don't have the capability to throw something, yeah. you know, for that big rate of force production release. The 70 pounders, they don't get as much use anymore. <laughs> but uh, if I want to do heavy, heavy farmer's carries, you know, I'll use those. Yeah. Um, this is 70? Yep, that's a 70. Yeah. Yep. Okay. See, I'm not going to curl that thing. <laughs> I didn't know you could stack them like this. That's neat. <laughs> they probably don't know either. They don't know either. Yeah. You got these yep. cinder fits over here, yep. which is it's... like a weighted cinder block. Yep, thing. and I've got from 55 pounds to 15 pounds. So a million and one different uses. The cool thing about these is not only are they a piece of exercise equipment, I could use them for like a bench press. Oh, yeah. I could stack them, you know. Oh, it's uh, like yeah, actual in, support. In, in line. Yeah so that I have like a modified bench press. I use them just as uh, like alternative weights, you know, yeah. instead of a dumbbell or something like that. Mm -hmm. I got to try out this balance oh, yeah, yeah, platform. Yeah. This yeah. is a custom built. Yeah, yeah, let me take the uh, balance platform. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, so the balance platform for me for uh, proprioception, kinesthetic awareness. Dude, like I've watched you do really? this. I didn't realize how hard it was. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty good at this stuff too. And this is, <laughs> right. whoa, you're really good at this. If yeah, you, yeah. <laughs> this is way harder than it looks. And I'm not too bad at this stuff, guys. Nah, yeah, you, you, you how the hell do you do that? Right. <laughs> After a while, your, your, your brain gives your body permission to find balance. But, uh, and as we get older too, you know, as the aging process yeah. uh, starts taking over, balance becomes so important, right? Balance, balance, balance. That's so way I'll harder do, than it looks. I'll do little dance steps on them, you know, back and forth. Yeah. Yep. One leg, uh, uneven pulls on them, yeah. those kind of things. And after a while, you just get used to it. I use it at least twice a month, and I could do a workout exclusively on this with very, very light weight. It's pretty fun. Like, I felt like it was just challenging enough to where I was like, what the hell, but still attainable. And you got all these hammers. Yeah, the Banff hammers, once again, multi-use. Yeah, that's that, heavy. that one's heavy right there, okay, yep. Yeah, this is, this is heavier than this one. Yep, yep. Those yeah. are Gen 1s, yeah. these are Gen 2s, and they're even in kilo, uh, kilograms. I don't like a piece of equipment that has only one use. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. uh, I want multiple use. I want you to You got use. a kettlebell then. Right, that's right. <laughs> Kettle, right. Kettlebell, for example. I am more apt to use the lighter ones now than uh -huh. the real heavy ones. We will miss with the heavy one today, but that's only 40 pounds. That's lighter than this one. Yeah. Then you got your trap bar. You got yep. your barbells out of here. I've got a barbell. I don't even, I don't use it that much. Yeah. I don't use a lot of free weights anymore. I like the oddball Spartan stuff, you know, yeah. old school type of workout stuff. It's necessary, right? Got to have a barbell. Right. It's got to have, it, right. It's classic. Yeah. It's, yeah. Where, it's where every most people while, start. Yeah. 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 You know, you, know, you got to throw in every once in a while, the classic deadlift, for example, you yeah. know, or, or uh, a clean. I've kind of given up the whole Olympic lift yeah. um, when it comes to working out only because I don't think that strength training should require skill. Too many people do Olympic lifts and they're not properly trained and they end up hurting themselves. Yeah. And if you're hurting yourself, you're wrong. It's called fitness, not brokenness. Yeah. You're coming around in the this, back end of yeah, this, yeah. we got the... Uh, yeah. Now this looks really good for having sit outside for so long. This man. has been out here since 2020, Sornex uh, off-grid rack. And yeah. of course, you know, you got your, you got your pull-ups, right? Yeah. So you Some do, Rocky style out here. Yep. Yeah. You could be attachments. The things I could do with bands on this as well. It's almost unlimited and it's stood the test of time and weather. I mean, it's got a couple rust spot, spots on it, but I mean, it's almost four years old. It's been out here the whole time. I kind of want some rust. Right? Yeah. I, I want mean, it grungy. I want it gnarly. I want it gritty. The aqua bag back here. Yeah. 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 We're going to check that out too. What's the aqua bag? The aqua bag. <laughs> oh, it's a heavy bag. I have a system. Uh, that I call combat strength training. When it comes to working out, you know, there's four reasons why we should work out. 
I, I like to tell people, uh, self-preservation longevity, yeah. saving your own life, or the ability to save somebody else's life, or the ability to kick somebody's ass. Yeah. So it's very, what I do is very fight-centric. So I need you know, my bob and my aqua bag and my double end bag uh, to throw feet, arms, hands at. The aqua bag I love because it's, it doesn't have a lot of give. You know? It's heavy and it's, it's, it's brutal when you uppercut it and throw hooks at it. Uh -huh. There's not a lot of swing to it. There's not a lot of pendulum motion because it's filled with water. It's got a, uh, a built-in sensor as well Oh, that you can hook to, uh, an app to your phone. <laughs> yep. yeah. That's cool. Yeah. So, uh, and that stands outside too. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the app to your phone, you know, you 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 uh, you turn on the app, and it'll. Does it count uh, how many punches? Yep, you throw? it'll count the m number of punches, uh, the oh, amount dude. of power, the pounds per square wow. inch. Wow. And it and it's got a timer on. That's cool. Yeah, the app does. I dig this guy. Bruce Lee would have loved that. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, ever yeah. look at Bruce Lee's <laughs> right. workout logs? It was oh, like yeah. Tuesday, 500 punches, 500 right. kicks. Mm -hmm. Wednesday. One mile run, 500 punches, 500 kicks. It's nice. like he's right. counting that in his head. If he had this, he'd yep. just be like wailing right. on it, watching that number go up. He wouldn't have to keep track of the number. Yep. That's brilliant. I'm on him at least once a week uh, because I have other, you know, I have a body opponent bag and sure. focus bag as well. Another one that I love is the, um, you know, when it comes to bags, so I've got the brute force. Yeah. And the, <laughs> here's the question that always comes up. Bro, what do you fill your bag with? Is it filled with sand? What's it got? It's uh, rubber mulch. Okay. Well, because sand, <laughs> when it rains, you, you go from a 50 pound bag to a 100 pound bag just like that. Right. The rubber mulch doesn't gain weight. <laughs> oh, it right. Doesn't absorb it. I keep my sandbags in a barn. Right. It's pretty light. It's only about, I don't know, 35 pounds. Yeah. But I pretty much use it for power anyway. Yeah. So I don't want it real heavy. There you go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, get it, John. <laughs> not, not right now. Help me get off of it. Yeah, right. <laughs> and you do a lot of front-loaded stuff. Now. Yes. As you've gotten older, you stop doing back-loaded. Right. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Because it's uh, you know self-preservation, longevity. Yeah. Yep. So anything I do, and I want to go full range of motion. Yeah. Uh, because that's another thing well, we lose. Flexible. Yeah. We, well, we lose functional flexibility as we get older. Yeah. So, like you, I'm an advocate of stretching, yeah. you know, and flexibility. Gotta keep it moving. Motion is lotion. A mobility is survivability. Gotta keep, gotta keep it moving. If you guys then, haven't uh, watched the workout video we've done, mm -hmm. check out the link in the description, as well as a card at the top of the screen. But this is, this is inspiring. I mean, I love this. Right on, yeah. I, I think this is, this is so, it's fun. It's fu it's fun. <laughs> yes. It's so Working much fun. Working out should be fun, man. And it makes you feel good too. Like right. being outside, having stuff, just like, this is incredible. And this is just really hardcore. Yeah, man. So thank you yeah, for right on. touring thank your you. gym. Yeah, yeah. yeah.